How's everyone going? Welcome back to another coverage 998 vlogs by monthly update. This is June 2023, I think. Um, so, hope everyone has been well over the last few months. Uh, uh, so, finally time to do our uh, second monthly update sort of thing. Uh, not sure how long I'll continue this sort of stuff and before I change uh, change up the style a bit or uh, to a few, uh, to change in timing but for now we'll keep it like this at least into the end of the year uh, so yeah not too bad of a lot of a previous two months ago to say um, so once again we'll have our heritage compilation uh, well now <laughs> So it definitely wasn't too, as I say, wasn't too bad at all of a season uh, for the last two months. Um, very busy, <laughs> obviously. It's uh, had a good mixture of stuff as well. Uh, as we noticed with the last two months as well, um, we, uh, well, at least for the last few weeks, especially, uh, we've tried a crisscross between model railways and um, uh, mainline heritage videos. So. Uh, that will come to a pause for a little bit from here of until uh, August, but that's uh, that that is the ideal uh, some circumstances in terms of scheduling is um, what we'd like to do. But obviously, this is the railways channel as well. this is primarily for the railways channel as well. For, so um, keeping it more towards the main line is what's uh, what we really want. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's just. That's how busy this, everything has gotten that we've managed to keep and make sure that they are like that. So, hope everyone has enjoyed the uh, the uh, current uploads and the fact that uh, we're also basically pushing a double two video per week for honestly, this is the start of June, uh, despite the fact that the holiday season only just began. So, yeah, what tours have we had? Uh, major tours we had eight uh, eighty nine six on the ARE farewell tour, uh, soloing up to Seymour. Um, very nice. hasn't uh, the, the A2 hasn't soloed to Seymour since it was since its members train when it was being reactiv uh, reactivated in 2016, 2017. I can't remember the date fully. Uh, Climax has made two runs in this season. Um, train of Lights is currently on as well. So uh, the, um, a uh, we'll have a chat about how we're doing those videos uh, at a, in a post later on. Because uh, there will be two separate videos coming out for that uh, for that spe uh, for the for the trainer lights. Um, first one will be coming out uh, before the end of trainer lights, and the second one will come out after the end of trainer lights. And technically, there's a third video as well being edited, but that's not for the um, for the commission I to um, branding. So I'm not going to say too much about that one. Uh, that's uh, that's going on the uh, bigger channel. Uh, so bigger, not really bigger, but the uh, the umbrella channel. So, um, other than that, uh, yeah, the, 
what else has been happening? Uh, not really. Actually, the A2. Oh, I can't remember if that was even in this month. Uh, in the season. Yeah, it was. It was. It was in May. Um, we had an extras video put out on uh, for quite a, uh, for the first time in quite a while, which is this, uh, the case of Goulburn video. Um, that was actually filmed uh, at the same time as the cl uh, one of the climax videos as well. So it's um, uh, yeah, it's a bit all over the place. Uh, a lot of traveling uh, late, uh, lately, and um, uh, it's primarily a thing that's going to be for this year. Uh, we're not sure about how we're going to continue continue to next year. Plans are slowly changing to how things are being done. Uh, announcement of that will come out later this year, obviously as well. Um, but yeah, so we had quite a number of uh, model railway exhibitions. Um, um, we, we don't primarily do model railway exhibitions on this channel, but uh, sorry, mo model railway stuff on this channel anymore. It's more for the secondary channel that we're doing. Uh, but that's more um, again, that's more the MTMR railway, not uh, external. So we went to Warragul, we went to um, Glamavely and uh, Ballarat. Firstly, covering two of those exhibitions, and definitely weren't too bad. Ballarat's exhibition was pretty was pretty nice. Had a nice um, division of um. The layouts, uh, it was definitely a smaller exhibition comparatively to the other ones that we've gone to, but not a bad exhibition at all. Um, Tates have made it out quite a few times as well, so it's uh, good to see the Tates and hopefully um, more, hopefully there's more tra trains, I guess. Um, there's one, uh, so it's probably a nice segue to our uh, next thing. So what's some of the stuff that's uh, uh, planned coming up is... Uh, the Tates are making a trip out uh, for the our, um, the Australian Model Railway exhibition at Flemington this year. So for sure, come and check us out. Um, it's um, on the weekend of August fifth and August sixth, if I recall correctly. So we have our exhibition going on uh, this year at Flemington Racecourse instead of Caulfield. So definitely going to be a uh, nice exhibition once again. Um, other than that, there's also things like the snow train occurring. This is Union Shuttles also happening next month. Uh, as we say, Train of Lights goes on for another week. So if you are in the area, uh, come out and take a look at the Train of Lights. It's uh, definitely an experience in its own. Uh, just to even see it more than just riding. Uh, but uh, riding is its own um, sort of feeling as well. Um, what else? Uh... We have the Heritage Train, Seymour's Heritage Train has been scheduled to head out to Portland. So that's uh, definitely going to be something different. Uh, hasn't been a Heritage Train out to Portland since apparently uh, about the 2000s. So it's going to be pretty cool to see. Um, and that's off the top of my head in terms of future um, train tours. Uh, or at least... Uh, Chain tours that pop in the uh, that I can think of, anyways. So yeah, um, I know a few things that have been occurring around on the railways. Uh, first things first is yes, ticket prices are going up as of this weekend. Um, uh, ten dollars for full, uh, for full daily and five dollars for a two hour, or in terms of concession, five dollars for full day and two dollars fifty for um, uh, two hours. So. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting to have a increase of price like that, especially being mid-year, but it does kind of make a bit of sense, especially now that a $10 fare can get you to travel the whole of the Victor Victorian Transport Network now. It's kind of, yes, it is kind of subsidizing the cost a bit, um, but um, that's, yeah, it allows you to travel more, but in the short, uh, short distances kind of doesn't really make much sense anymore. Um, Honestly, something like New South Wales' this ticket sing, uh, system kind of makes a bit more sense in one aspect, especially within suburbia. Not, for long distances, it uh, New South Wales ones are still obviously a lot more expensive, but New South Wales, uh, they charge um, per distance for shorter distances, and then there's a um, cap on the price after you get above a particular amount. So something like that, honestly, wouldn't be too bad um, down here, honestly, but... Yeah, it might be a bit complex to um, put into our system. Uh, also, there was... What else was happening? Um, Albury trains will be getting... Uh, recently announced that Albury... Uh, there will be a extra service to and from Albury every day, every weekend day. So that will be um, 
really, really nice. Full services to Albury. Um, they say there's not going to be a buffet car available on those trains, so I'm not sure. We're not sure what they're going to be using. It's um, the velocities all have buffets fitted. Uh, maybe it's just not crude, but that's pretty nice to see that they're adding an extra train, especially the fact that um, the trains are getting pretty packed. So it's it's good to see. Um, and hopefully that it will continue maybe even to the weekdays one day if um, there is enough patronage for it. Yeah, so future for ideas for the channels and stuff, um, nothing really changing here on out. It's uh, holiday season, so two videos per week on the main channel, Mondays and Fridays, so between 10.30 and 11. Obviously, sometimes we can't make that, uh, for example, like today's video, um, that had, that was pushed out to 11, 11.45, but yeah, um, two, vid uh, two videos per, uh, per week for uh, until the end of July is what we're planning anyways, and there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to finish up, uh, go right to the end with that. Um, but yeah, so, and this channel, we're keeping, we're keeping with at least a monthly um, upload for our regular videos, so, uh, i.e. a vlog video or whatever. We have got a few other special videos that are being edited and trial videos being edited for this channel, but those have been, been very, very delayed and hopefully we can continue with it and get on, uh, on top of those at some point uh, and the model channel we're, the intentions are is we're going to uh, bring down the uh, make uh, make uploads more frequent um, we're currently doing a, approximately every 20 days so is, so every 25 days is the uh, is the current approx um, for a new video uh, I want to shorten that down to 20 days to see how that goes um, but that will begin after the holiday season has ended uh, then we'll um, and progressively, hopefully, manage to make it faster and uh, faster we can if we have the amount of uh, the correct amount of uploads. There are a lot of videos that need to be filmed. A lot of uh, review videos, a lot of uh, a lot of unboxing videos have already been filmed, and a lot of other workshop style videos uh, that are in the plans that just haven't been uh, been able to be recorded because it just haven't had the time. So yeah, other than that. I think that's all for this month. Thank you all for watching. Well, thank you all for listening a little more accurate. Hope you guys have um, having a good winter. Um, stay warm. And uh, we'll see you out on the rail soon because definitely there's a lot of things happening at the moment.